Okay, so over the EMS here, these two end buttons, again, they'll go ahead and, and they could go ahead and change the, the display here. So let's go to, uh, when we start up, it, it's going to get to this screen. And we have uh, everything, RPM, uh, you know, fuel information, oil information, all that stuff. Again, here we have an enunciator for the, uh, uh, for the fuel pump, EGT, CHT. You can see right now we have a lot of uh, red lights blinking. And uh, on the ground, that's okay. If we were in the air, we definitely wouldn't want to see that. But see here we have... You know, the EGT, is there, it's, there's no reading on it because the engine's off. So when it's blinking red like that, that means it's, it's bad. If you see here, if for the oil temperature, for instance, you have a yellow around that number. I mean, it's, it's, it's not dangerous, but it's, the oil temperature is not where it needs to be. So that's, that, that's right there. Uh, again, here you can scroll the screens here, the, 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 uh, the outer buttons. Let's go ahead and, and start scrolling. Same with, uh, same with the, uh, the EFIS, you have the times here. You have uh, this fuel, ana fuel analysis right there. Uh, actually, you could have a little um, attitude indicator, which is neat. So let's say um, you're, you're flying from the right side. You could have just this little strip here of, of your attitude indicator. It just gives you the basic information. So that the, pretty much the uh, your, your attitude indicator and you have your, your heading altitude and your airspeed. And again here, you, you can scroll back through this back button here. Just keep going forward. Your HSI, just like the EFIS. And then you're back here to the main screen. So pretty simple. Now, like I said on before in the EFIS, there's no way you could not have the, the flight instruments here. On here, you're always going to have the, the RPM, the oil temperature, and pressure because you're you're always going to have that visible to you in the cockpit on on one of the screens. So there's, there's nothing there to worry about. That's where you could reset your fuel. Say you wanted to put uh, fuel in here, you wanted to add fuel to the tanks. Let's say you just to you topped off, or even if you put half tanks in there, you you could add fuel in there. You have, uh, you could dim here, you could do different setups here, um, you could change your time. Um, you say you're, you're, the, the time is off by an hour, you can go ahead and change that in here. And then again, you hit back and exit to, to get out of that screen. Very simple to use. Like I said before, I would consult the uh, Dynon manual before, before operating this. But those are the basic functions and how to use it. It's a very simple system to use and it, it's, it's, it's great. Anyway, I hope you find this video helpful and have, be safe flying.